without further ado, here we go. Kristen is going to walk us through new this, new that. Thanks, Ralston. As he's as he's doing his project over there, the marketing department is like 95% advertising and marketing and about 5% crafting, if nobody actually knew that. <laughs> We've gotten very good at crafting over there. All right, let me share my screen. Give me one second here. Hopefully you guys can all see this. Town Central was down for a couple minutes this morning, but she's back up and running and seems to be doing okay. Uh, I am on Charter, not on Cox or Verizon, so hopefully it'll be nice and nice and fast, but I do live out in the country, so fair warning. Um, today I want to talk about some of the new stuff that's coming on in all of our tools in marketing, not just in Town Central, but you can use Town Central to get to all of them, and I think that's the key that we want to focus on today. Everything that you are going to see me do here um, can be accessed directly from either our dashboard, which is our quick links. These are the ones that everybody uses probably the most often. Or if you go to that giant quick links button for you guys, it's over here on the left hand side. You don't have this client services button, but I do. Um, this quick links button at the top row here for you guys will also bring you to a whole bunch more links that we don't have room for on the front page right now, but we do uh, filter them in and out depending on what we're using. Um, but we're going to be focusing on a couple of tools in here as well. Before we go and click off into other links, I do want to share a couple of new things that are going on in Town Central. Um, let me start with Site Builder. I'm going to go to Site Builder and then Collections and then Layouts. And I wanted to show you some of these new layouts and also some of the information that's available to you. Um, as you may know, if you hover over any of the templates in Town Central, you'll be able to see what they do. <laughs> This is really important as you're starting to go through and trying to decide what new template you would like to use. You'll also see that you can sort by collections over here on the left hand side. So the newest collections we've added are Waterfront, American Rustic, and then this new one called Modern Architecture, which we haven't talked about a lot. Um, but this is working out great for people who want to do something um, a little more contemporary. People who are working in um, Norfolk seem to love the modern architecture one, especially if you're working downtown and in the city. Um, and it's a it's a great collection to use. Let me go ahead and just click through a few of these just so you can see them. I'm going to sort them by collection. So let me go ahead and click on waterfront. Um, just as a reminder, these are just here for inspiration. If you want to use this Monterey with the video on it uh, for something other than an oceanfront photo, if you want to use an amazing interior photo, that's totally okay. Um, we just wanted to provide you with inspiration. Um, so when you're looking at these, just remember that the elements all stay where they are on the page, but you can change any of the backgrounds or any of the colors to suit your needs. You don't have to use a waterfront template for waterfront. Um, oh but it does provide good in, uh, good inspiration. So the one thing I wanted to show you is, and this is where we are here, the Monterey video. Anytime yeah. you see something that says video um, on here, it means that we have added a video background. Well, let me show you what that looks like real quick. Let me get over here to Ralston's and I'll bring this screen in for you. So this is Ralston's website. We use this for testing. And what we've done here is we've added the video background for all of the BHHS current commercials to this. Um, so as someone comes on his site, it's going to go ahead and show uh, the background video for the commercials. Um, we have another agent who's done something a little bit different. Let me pull this one in here for you. This is Daniel Parrish, and what he did is he took a montage of a bunch of the aerial photos and a video and a bunch of his photography videos from his listings. Um, his videographer put a little montage together of, of just some random scenes from Virginia Beach, um, and it looks fantastic. So it's something very different than the, than the BHHS commercials. Um, I've seen other agents also use this background using some of their paradigm videos if they just want to feature a single listing, or again, doing something like this with a montage. Montage. My third class today at 12 o'clock is about adding these videos and the video backgrounds to your website. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, um, be sure to pick up that 12 o'clock class today. So a couple of other things that have changed on here besides the new layouts. Let me go to modern architecture just so you can see what those look like. Uh, these are pretty sharp, by the way. So these colors change. Um, they start out in black and white. They've got really big, bold fonts on them. And again, you can change those background photos. You don't have to use them. Um, you don't have to use them at all for, for any kind of modern architecture. When you hover over them, though, you'll see some new things. 
If it doesn't say video on it, it doesn't have a video background available to it. But I wanted you to see that we have something new called a custom background slideshow. This means you can have more than one photo in the background. So a few of these, if you hover over them, will show if you are allowed to have that custom slideshow that uh, people have been asking for. The other thing that you'll see is we have increased the number of community tiles. This has been something that people have been asking for for us. Um, this allows you to create tiles um, based on community searches. And we have up to, I believe, 12 in one of our, our um, templates. So if you're looking for something that highlights a lot of different communities in the area you work, um, so if you want to do three, five, six, seven, 12 different neighborhoods in Virginia Beach, you can do that. You'll also see this, the calls to action with editable text. So our calls to action were originally um, five set things. You could have property watch, home valuation, market trends, that kind of thing. You can now design what your calls to action to be whatever you want them to be. Um, so you can send it off to your home valuation site. You can send it off to Facebook or Instagram if you'd like and, and change the photo and the text and the link um, to where those are going to be able to go. The other thing you'll see here is that the availability of a team roster. For those of you who are working on a team, um, we do now have a team roster that's available on some of these templates um, outside of the team templates themselves. It just means that if you have a team website and you've worked with us to have a team website and you have a team roster, that will actually show up automatically on your website and be updated when we add members to your team. So I wanted to show you what some of those some of those new look those new <laughs> templates look like in a couple of the video backgrounds. Um, let me show you what some of those cu custom calls to action look like real quick. I'm actually going to go back to Daniel Parrish's website here because he's a good example of this. He just redid his website. There's again that video background. Notice how nice and clean and open this is starting to get. And then he added, these are custom uh, calls to action right here. So he did include his home value report, which he finds very valuable. And then he has um, the link off to Explore VB, which is of course our um, website for all things to do in Virginia Beach. And then Property Watch, which is signing up for listing um, notifications. But then he also has a link off to his Instagram site. And all of this was designed by him. We just, he was able to upload the photo that, that met his needs in here and all of these buttons uh, and calls to action can now be designed. So instead of saying go, you could say get my report, um, you know, visit site, you sign up, view, you can change the words on these buttons now and you can say where you want them to go. So if I were to click this, it's going to go straight to Daniel's Instagram page. And they're doing a lot on Instagram here. So I wanted to show you that you can also do custom calls to action right now. One of the other things that we've changed is we've added thousands and thousands of photos to the image library. So if you go to the image library, you have access to all of this. Um, you have a folder for your own images if you want to upload them. Uh, we do have company images, so we'll put in things that meet the criteria for our area or any campaigns we're doing, but we also have stock images. Um, obviously, uh, Reliance, who's behind our website engine here, um, is a national company, so we have lots and lots of photos from lots and lots of different areas. Um, so in this case, we have Chicago, Denver, they're starting to load other sites um, and other cities, but if you keep scrolling down, you'll be able to get to things like all the new farm and ranch, um, they've added new holidays, so here's all the fall holidays and the spring holidays. This is a good place to stop because we're still in spring. Um, and I want you to pay attention to these little buttons down here in the right hand corner. They might be hard to see, but they say show more. If you click that, you're actually going to, it'll keep loading photos for that. And if you click show more, it's going to load even more, show more, it's going to load even more. So these are thousands and thousands of photos that have been added. Um, one of the things that we've answered to is adding more people photos, um, especially for some of your um, pages that you like to build about marketing plans and other stuff like that. Winter holidays, uh, more home and living, more home exteriors. Lots of them look like our area too. More home interiors, more luxury photos. Here's your modern photos. And again, don't forget to hit that show more button because we have lots and lots of photos under there. And then here's another new category for us on moving. Um, so many people have pages on here for military moves and PCS and also um, downsizing. The If you're creating pages for things like that, obviously moving photos is a, 
is a great thing to use. Uh, new construction for those of you who are are working in that, and then we're getting down into some of the other categories that we have: waterfront, and of course, American rustic, which was our answer to the farmhouse look, um, lifestyle, and again, more luxury. So we've added thousands and thousands and thousands of photos. So if you haven't done a refresh on your website lately, it might be something you want to consider. All right, so that's what's new in in uh, Site Builder. I'm going to go off to some of our tools that we have available now and just mention some quick things that have been updated here. So in Town Central, I'm going to go back to my dashboard and we're going to start working with some of these quick links that are here. I'm going to go ahead and click quick links. Uh, just a quick mention on box brownie. Um, we're not using them quite as much as we were just because things are selling so quickly. Oop, my computer thinks I'm in Canada. Let's not do that. There we go. All right. Um, the Box Brownie has reduced the prices on some of their image uploads because of being with BHHS and they're now a preferred partner. Um, for those of you who have uh, done the virtual staging, again, we're not using it quite as much right now because listings are moving so fast, but they are a great way to present um, new construction or vacant homes or just to give inspiration on what to do with a room, um, especially if it's a flex space, they've reduced the price and the virtual staging for an entire room is now only $24. Um, and that does include multiple changes. We actually tested this system when they first came on board. Uh, we asked for a particular style, didn't like it. Um, we knew we were going to ask them for a different one and we asked them to change it completely. They sent it back to us and again, there was no charge for changing it for us. Um, but for those of you who do use Box Brownie, either on your image enhancement, you're changing some of your guys um, you're trying to do virtual staging they have reduced the prices on here um, it's something to check out if you think you need um, some enhancements for some of your photos and virtual staging all right that's box brownie let me go over to one of our other tools here adworks i actually already have this pulled up just for the sake of time but if i click adworks it's going to take me right into my account and I wanted to show you um, on your listings, you now have the ability to have a luxury template for AdWorks. So the default is always going to be this Cabernet template here. I've pulled up one of Susan's listings for 3.4 million um, that she has available. And don't forget, you can change all of these over here. Um, all of this is editable by you. But if you are a member of our luxury collection um, specialists and you would like to change that to a luxury collection template, uh, when you get your notification from AdWorks that the ad is ready to run, go ahead and do a quick login and just swap it out for the, uh, the luxury ad layout. And that's what that looks like. And it's all branded with luxury collection. Um, again, you can change your your lines. You can change any of the contact information that you need to. Um, you don't have to say just listed. You might want to mention uh, what community it's in. Um, you don't have to do bedrooms and baths. You can actually use these lines for anything you like. So if you don't want to include the bedrooms and baths, then you might want to say something like, I'm not sure where this particular listing is, but we'll just say just listed Allenton for 3.4. Um, you can actually use those lines for anything you like. Um, so just don't don't forget that part of it. But I did want to show you in AdWorks that you can go from the Cabernet template over to Luxury Collection for those of you who are working with Luxury Collection properties. All right, so that's the update on AdWorks. I'm going to close out of here and I'm going to go back to my dashboard. All right, and I want to remind you that you do have the link to BHHS Resource Center and the new IQ system, um, both here and over here. For you guys, it's up here because I have client services on mine. Um, you are able to click right through to Resource Center from Town Central without having to use a password. So if you don't want to have to remember the long password to Resource Center, um, we do have it set up as an SSO for your single sign-on. So if you click that, it's going to Give it a second. It's going to take you through the, the process of, of verifying who you are and signing you on here. And notice that it signed me on as me, um, as Kristen Fredericks. So here I am signed in without having to use another username and password. If you haven't had a chance to look at the IQ system yet, um, I encourage you to do so. The first time that you click this button, it's going to bring up a little screen that's going to ask you to opt in. Um, opting in is just a way for you to be able to get all the emails about the IQ system, um, anything about training, anything about updates um, that they're going to do. Uh, the emails are, are really important to the system. 
And so go ahead and click that button to go ahead and opt in. I've already opted in, um, so we're not going to see that when I log in here. But I did want to show you if you haven't had a chance to see the IQ system yet, the IQ system is a, uh, I use it mostly for inspiration. Um, I love it. So you, if you need inspiration about working, um, com, you know, community events or working within your community, um, if you need help with developing your sphere or how to work your sphere, um, ways to communicate and marketing, working on your personal brand. And I love this, which is the campsite calendar. The campsite calendar is a complete um, social media um Let's pull it up here. Campsite calendar is a complete social media uh, plan for you. So it's going to actually show you what you should post all the time. So it's going to show you um, different things. You can do the lifestyle and planning guide. Here we are in the 13th. It's going to ask us to post another newsletter. Um, and all of these links are going to go straight to marketing resource so that you can easily download or easily share the information. So today on the 13th, it's asking us to post that e-newsletter. Notice it's taking us right into marketing resource. We don't need any usernames or passwords. And here it's giving us social images. So we can do the five-year equity rule. Will home prices keep rising? These are all really important things that we're talking about right now. Um, put, a, put a stake in vampire energy use um, and reduce your home's price the right way. Hopefully none of us need this right now, but you know it is probably coming. Um, this is probably a great one. If I was doing this today, I'd probably do the will home prices keep rising. It's a way to start a conversation uh, with your clients and with your sphere. Um, you want people to start those social conversations with you um, to be able to do lead generation and also stay in touch with your network. Um, so this is a great way to keep yourself accountable for posting on social media and also using professional templates with professional content all the time. So if you haven't had a chance to check out IQ, um, I highly suggest um, you just kind of take a tour. Uh, the videos on here will show you everything you need to know about each individual section. So while we're in the uh, marketing resource, because we clicked in here from the campsite calendar, if you haven't had a chance to notice the new button up here at the top called Drip Campaigns, um, BHHS has added something we've been asking for for a very long time, um, which is a set it and forget it drip campaign that you can design out of marketing resource. If you click on the Drip Campaigns button, going to tell you it's the first time you've done you've done this um, and then it's going to ask you what series you want to use we're not going to go into how you set these up today just because it would take a little bit of time but I do want you to know that if you get in here and you need help setting up um, a drip campaign go ahead and click this blue button it's always available this is actually the customer success team from BHHS um, they will know what page you're on and they can walk you through any kind of step that you need um, or answer any question that you have. Uh, this actually does mean that people are live and ready to receive your call. Um, I usually only have to wait a few seconds before I actually talk to somebody on here on the chat. But they do have lots of different templates for the drip campaign, um, you know, BHHS branded, kind of home seller things. Um, you have the holidays, you have the talking real estate, which is, of course, the BHHS newsletter, um, a green series, and you can even create your own um, series now. So if you wanted to create your own uh, maybe once a month campaign to send out to people, uh, you can drop your own e-cards in here and create your own system. So maybe it'll be a, a combination of everything. So here's all of your different topics, consumers, home staging, landscaping tips, um, home maintenance. They've designed all of these um, for drip campaigns. So that was something that was really exciting that came out. All right, so that is what is new so far in uh, Resource Center, the IQ and the Drip Campaigns. I'm going to close out of here, and I'm going to go to another tool for you guys. We've had lots and lots of changes this year. If you haven't noticed, um, people are really are really stepping it up and upgrading their systems for us and giving us some things that we really have needed for a while. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click this Express Docs button. This is going to take me right into Express Docs. All right, so some of you may or may not have seen this, but Express Docs changed their format and their layout of their um, uh, of, of Express Docs essentially, and they recategorized everything. And we did have some issues with people having some trouble finding um, 
some of the stuff that was underneath here. Obviously, postcards and brochures, luxury collection, those kind of things are really easy, um, easy to find and, and very noticeable. But a lot of people were asking us, what happened to fill in the blank? What happened to my Mother's Day cards? What happened to the 4th of July? They've created a new category called Stay in Touch. Stay in Touch is the clearing house for all things, not basically property postcards and brochures. If I click on Stay in Touch, it's going to bring up the postcards that are most relevant to the top. So the next major holiday for us is going to be some of these things like the back to schools and the 4th of July's. And you can notice that they've put a lot of templates in here. So they've really expanded what they're offering for us. Um, and then um, they've also created some more categories. So this is the back to school version. I'm going to just click this bread. We call these breadcrumbs here at the top. So it's going to allow me to go backwards to the stay in touch area. And here you'll be able to see how they've categorized everything. So we have back to school, we have uh, consumer tips, we have fall back, Halloween, Easter, all the major holidays, milestones. These are things like birthdays and anniversaries. Um, if you're having trouble finding something, um, mile, uh, miscellaneous is always a good place to look, um, but they have recategorized everything. Um, if you do get stuck for whatever reason, they also have a live chat. You, hopefully you can see it. It's all the way down here at the bottom on the right hand side. You can click live chat enter your first name and last name and say, hey, I sent out a Mother's Day card last year that I really loved and I can't find it. Please tell me where it is um, and they'll be able to help you. Um, the other thing that they've done recently is they have added a search. So if you click up here, um, you'll see that little magnifying glass. If I click on that, it's going to bring up a little search thing. Um, say you needed pens for an open house. I'm just going to type in pen. And it's going to bring me up all the the pens that uh, uh, that are available on the system. So if you can't find something um, and you're not sure where to look in the new Express Docs, do go ahead and click that magnifying glass, um, and it'll go ahead and bring up um, hopefully whatever you're looking for. And if you can't find it on the search for whatever reason, go ahead and click the live chat or go ahead and contact us in marketing. We'll be happy to help you find it. All right, so that's what's new in Express Docs. They're all new layout. And my last thing for today um, will be Toolkit CMA. I've actually already pulled this up just because I have an instructor account. So let me make sure I can log in as an agent here. So if I click the Toolkit CMA button, again, you would not need a username or password. It's gonna log you straight on through to Toolkit CMA. Um, Toolkit CMA introduced two uh, new presentations recently. Um, one is an existing presentation that BHHS has always had, which is the Lifestyle and Planning Guide. Um, it has been only available on Marketing Resource until now. Um, it is now available in Toolkit CMA for you to customize and be able to create a presentation out of it. And they've also done something called a Quick Market Analysis. A quick market analysis is something if you need um, just a really quick little, you know, four or five page CMA to, to send to somebody just something nice and quick and easy, um, instead of having to go through pages and pages and pages and pages of branding um, and about you and about the company and pictures and things like that. If you just need something nice and quick and easy, um, they've created this thing called the quick market analysis or a yeah, quick market analysis for you. So once you log in, um, you'll be able to see this create a presentation button. And it's going to ask you which presentation you'd like to use. So I wanted to show you the presentations that are currently available um, and where you can find the new ones. So obviously the listing presentation is a fairly large listing presentation. This is the BHHS listing presentation. So everything that you're seeing in here is BHHS. Um, and it's all the same stuff that you can find on Marketing Resource and on BHHS Resource. It's also available in here. Um, there's that quick market analysis if you need just a super quick, very small CMA done. Um, you do have the listing presentations in Spanish, classic, classic listing presentation, pre-listing presentations, um, the CMA only presentation. So that's the CMA without having all of the branding stuff that goes with it as well. There's your lifestyle and planning guide. And then of course your buyer presentations. We even have the luxury presentations. And then what we call the presentation page template. So if you actually wanted to create presentation pages um, for things maybe like your own individual marketing plan or something special that you do, um, you can actually create those presentation pages um, on a blank template. So that's all available there. So do keep an eye out for that quick market analysis and then also the lifestyle and planning guide. It is available in Toolkit CMA now. 
So those are the major updates that have happened um, on our tools so far this year. We are expecting um, several major announcements um, coming down the pike from a lot of other tools this year. Um, a lot of things are in the works. We're actually beta testing a few things right now, and we're really excited about it. So hopefully we will do another Blitz session of what's new, um, maybe in a few months, and we'll have more things to share with you.